There's a funny story I read that when you won the Fields Medal, somebody from the internet wrote you <laughs> and asked, uh, you know, what are you going to do now that you've won this prestigious award? And then you just quickly, very humbly said that, you know, this a shiny metal is not going to solve any of the problems I'm currently working on. So I'm just going to okay. keep, I'm gonna keep working on them. It's just, first of all, it's funny to me that you would answer an email in that context. And second of all, it um, it just shows your humility. But anyway, uh, maybe you could speak to the Fields Medal, but it's another way for me to ask uh, about uh, Gregoria Perlman. What do you think about him famously declining the Fields Medal and the Millennial Prize, which came with a $1 million of prize money. He stated that I'm not interested in money or fame. The prize is completely irrelevant for me. If the proof is correct, then no other recognition is needed. Yeah, no, he's, he's somewhat of an outlier, um, even among mathematicians who tend to, uh, to have uh, somewhat idealistic views. Um, I've never met him. I, I think I'd be interested to meet him one day, but I, I'd never had the chance. I, I know people who met him, but He's always had strong views about certain things. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like he was completely isolated from the math community. I mean, he would he would give talks and, and mm -hmm. write papers and so forth. Um, but at some point, he just decided not to engage with the rest of the community. He was he was disillusioned or something. Um, I, I don't know. Um, and he decided to to uh, uh, to peace out uh, and you know collect mushrooms in Saint Petersburg or something. And, mm -hmm. and that's that's fine. You know, and you can you can do that. Um, I mean, that's another sort of flip side. I mean, we are not a lot of our problems that we solve. You know, they, some of them do have practical application, and that's that's great. But uh, like, if you stop thinking about a problem, you, you know, so he's he hasn't published since in, in this field, but that's fine. There's many, many other people who've, who've done so as well. Um, yeah. So I guess one thing I didn't realize initially with the Fields Medal is that it it sort of makes you part of the establishment. Um, mm. You know, so you know. Most mathematicians, you know, there's uh, just career mathematicians. You know, you just focus on publishing the next paper, maybe getting one test promoted, one one rank, you know, and and starting a few projects, maybe have, taking some students or something. Yeah, but then suddenly people want your opinion on things, and uh, you have to think a little bit about uh, you know things that you might just so foolishly say because you know no one's going to listen to you. Uh, it's, it's, it's more important now. Is it constraining to you? Are you able to still have fun and be a rebel and try crazy stuff and? Well, uh, play with ideas. I have a lot less free time than I yeah. had previously. Um, I mean, mostly by choice. I mean, I, I, I can always see I have the option to sort of uh, decline. Uh, so I decline a lot of things. I, I, I could decline even more. Um, or I could acquire a reputation of being so unreliable that people don't even ask anymore. <laughs> uh, this is, I, this, love, I love the different algorithms here. Yeah. This is great. <laughs> uh, this is, it, it's always an option. Um, but, you know, um, there are things that are you know, like... I mean, so I mean, I, I I don't spend as much time as I do as a postdoc, you know, just just working on one problem at a time or um, fooling around. I still do that a little bit, but I, yeah, as you advance in your career, some of the more soft skills. So math somehow front loads all the technical skills to the early stages of a career. So um, yeah, so it's uh, as a postdoc, as a publisher, or parish, you 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 you're incentivized to basically focus on on proving very technical theorems to sort of prove yourself um, as, as well as prove the theorems. Um, but then, as as you get more senior, you have to start, you know, mentoring and 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 giving interviews uh, and uh, and trying to shape um, direction of the field, both research wise and and you know, uh, sometimes you have to uh, uh, you know do various administrative things, and it's kind of a, a, the right social contract because you you need to to work in the trenches to see what can help mathematicians. The other side of the establishment, sort of the the, the really positive thing, is that. Um... You get to be a light that's an inspiration to a lot of young mathematicians or young people that are just interested in mathematics. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it's just how the human mind works. This is where I would probably uh, say that I like the Fields Medal, that it does inspire a lot of young people somehow. I don't. This is just how human brains work. Yeah. At the same time, I also want to give sort of respect to somebody like Gregory Perlman who is critical of awards in his mind. Those are his principles. And any human that's able for their principles to like do the thing that most humans would not be able to do. It's beautiful right. to see. Some recognition is, is necessary and important. Uh, but yeah, it's it's also important to not let these things take over your life. Yeah. Um, and like only be concerned about uh, getting the next big award or whatever. Um, 
I mean, yeah, yeah. So again, you see these people try to only solve like a really big math problems and, and not work on 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 things that are less uh, sexy, if you wish, but mm -hmm. but but actually uh, still interesting and, and instructive. As you say, like the way the human mind works, it's um, we understand things better when they're attached to humans. Um, and also, uh, if they're attached to a small number of humans, like uh, there's, there's the way our human um, mind is, is, is wired, we can comprehend the relationships between you know, ten or twenty people. You know, but, but once you get beyond that, like a hundred people, like there's there's a, there's a limit. I think there's a name for it. Um, beyond which, uh, it just becomes the other. Yeah. Um, and uh, so we have you have to simplify the whole mass of you know ninety nine point nine percent of humanity becomes the other, um, and. Uh, and often these models are, are, are incorrect, and this causes all kinds of problems. But um, so, yeah. So to humanize a subject, you know, if you identify a small number of people and say, you know, these are representative people of the subject, you know, so role models, uh, for example, um, that has some role. Um, but it can also be, um, uh, yeah, too much of it can be harmful because it's. I, I'll be the first to say that my own career track path is not that of a typical mathematician. Um, I had a very accelerated uh, education. I skipped a lot of classes. Um, I think I was had very fortunate mentoring uh, opportunities, um, and I think I was at the right place at the right time. Just because someone does, doesn't have my um, trajectory, you know, it doesn't mean that they, they can't be good mathematicians. I mean, they, they may be math, good mathematicians in, in a very different style, uh, and we need people with, with a different style. Um, and, you know, even if, uh, and sometimes too much focus is given on the, on the person who does the last step to complete um, a project in mathematics or elsewhere that's, that's really taken you know centuries or decades with lots and lots of building on lots of previous work um, but that's a, a story that's difficult to tell um, if you're not an expert because you know it, it's easier to just say one person did this one thing you know it, it makes for a much simpler history I think on the whole it um, is a hugely positive thing to to talk about Steve Jobs mm. as a representative of Apple when I personally know, and of course everybody knows the incredible design, the incredible engineering teams, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just the individual humans on those teams. They're not a team, they're individual humans on a team, and there's a lot of brilliance there, but it's just a nice shorthand, like a very, like pie. Yeah. It's Steve Jobs. Yeah, yeah. Pie. As, as a starting point, you know, as, yeah. a, as a first approximation, that's, yes. how, that's how you And then it. read some biographies and then look into much deeper first approximation. Yeah. That's right.